Back up! Entitlement can cloud judgment, especially for those who think they can take what isn't theirs without facing consequences. From a woman thinks she is above the law. What are you doing? What are you doing right now? Ma'am, relax. What is wrong with you right now? I need to go. You can't leave. You are not leaving right now. To where a brazen shoplifter caused a scene and attempted to flee with stolen goods. You don't have nothing else on you, right? 100,000%? Because if you bring anything down there, it's, they're gonna add another felony charge, okay? These moments reveal how quickly entitlement can dissolve in the face of unwavering justice, leaving the culprits humbled and caught red-handed. Using confrontation with authority often invites larger troubles than initially faced. Ma'am, re relax. What is wrong with you right now? I need to go. You can't leave. You are not leaving right now. On the 5th of May, 2023, in Florida, the police received a call from Winn-Dixie about a shoplifting in progress. Despite getting the cops' commands, Samantha displayed an undismayed nature, eventually dipping the scenario into total turmoil. Do you have a receipt for Did you buy this? Don't leave, come back here. Don't leave, come yeah, back. Ma'am, come here. Ma'am, come here, stop. Don't run. What are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Please let me go. Don't, no, you can't leave. You just, you just got caught stealing. Come back here, you're detained right now. You cannot leave. Stay right here. Go to the sidewalk. Six no copy signal thirty at Win Dixie. No, Ma'am, don't don't leave. Where are you going? No, stop touching me. You're detained right now. Stop touching me. You are detained me. right now. You have to stay right here. You're not allowed to leave. Okay, let me go. Stay right here. You know, Six, so are you going for? Go for. Can I get a routine ninety four? Stay right here. Where are you going? Stand right here. 10-4, Ma'am, you need to stay right here. What, do you have an idea on it? Stay right here, do not leave. Ma'am, what are you doing? What are you doing right now? You need to stay right here. Hey, can you grab her arm? Ma'am, re relax, what is wrong with you right now? I need to go. You can't leave, you are not leaving right now. Charles behind your back. Put your arms behind your back. I'm not gonna try to leave. No, it's I'm too late. To I'm leave. not playing this game anymore. Put your arm behind your back, man. Six up, one detained. You gotta hold on one second. Come on, send it. Pretty much. Where's your ID? I don't know. You don't have one? You don't have one in your purse? Yes, have another unit come by. Can you, get, uh, can you have the manager come up? Yeah, okay. You want me to take this in or leave it right here? You can leave it right here until he comes out and decides what he wants to do. Can you tell me what happened? Or what, why you, what, would you need I'm stuff? Just, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm just trying to get stuff for my family. I'm sorry. And I, I don't want to go to jail. That's the last thing I need right now. Why are you trying to run from me when I tell you not to move? Why do I have to grab you? I don't want, do you think I want to do this? No, I don't. I'm just I'm, I'm I know they're scared. you're scared, but you cannot run from the law enforcement when they're stopping you. You're esc you escalated this. You, I, don't want, I didn't have to put cuffs on you. I just have her detained her right now. Just looking for her on camera, actually. So you want to like get the prices of everything that she's yeah, taking? Yeah, let's do it right now. Do you have anything in your purse that you took Beautiful. also? No, I mean, I don't know. Is there any way I 
it could just be chest pest or something. We'll find out when the other officer gets here. Can we go inside? Go for it. We're just gonna wait out here for a moment. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, let's go inside. You want, where do you want to hold her at? You want to take her inside the manager's yeah. office? Yeah, we can. The authorities collected the necessary details regarding the event. There were some eye-catching clues revealed in that period. So, you saw what happened, right? The lady walking out with the stuff? Uh, yeah. What did you see? Come out! Okay. <laughs> I saw when she come in and she take like the box, the real super box. And then do you, do you mind writing a statement? No, it's okay. You can do it. You can do it? All right. Yeah, I'm, I don't know if I'm like really good writing in English. English? Yeah. I speak Spanish, I mean. Okay, so I can write it in Spanish? Yeah, I can write in Spanish. Okay. But whatever you want, I'll have him. Once he's done with his, I'll have you write one. Do you have your ID? Uh, yeah, on the break time. Break time? I'll have to ask your manager. Hey, is it okay if we get a statement from her? Huh? If I can get a statement from her? Yeah, of course. And um, she needs her ID, says so the breaker. Uh -huh. If I can get her information. Yeah. Better be fast. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> So before you write it, just tell me what happened. Oh, you have your ID? Before, okay, so what did you see? Okay, when she come in, she take a lot of bath from this side. So I was here and she take a lot of bath, then she was walking around. And then when she was getting out, she used to stay in the line. So when the man that was before her was paying, she used to like run away and I was like, why? So I didn't see when she was paying, so I called him. So you didn't see her pay at all? Do me a favor. Just uh, right, raise your right hand. Your right hand, right hand. <laughs> Is everything you're gonna say the truth? Nothing but the truth. Yeah. Just put your initials here, and then write what happened in detail, as much detail as possible. Okay. Okay. And take your time. Okay. Take so copy twenty-seven. Yeah. Is, it, is this a case number? Perfect. Um, you have your ID, just so I can get put yeah, you on course. the trespass order. Yeah, what time, do, what time do you guys close? Uh, we don't close until like 10. What time? But I'm usually here till 11, so if like, you wanted to stop by, you may need to do anything, I got you. Yeah, it's just so I'm not, I'm not like I'm gonna take her, but I wanna drop off the trespass. Yeah. Oh yeah, so. no, yeah, definitely. I'll be, I'll be here for sure. So take your time, there's no rush on that. I usually arm the store by 11, so. Arm the store by 11? So. Have a good one. Thanks a lot. Yep. You need anything else? Nope. You know what to put in your CRA and everything? I'll figure it out. I'm gonna go to the, I'm gonna go to the station to get with Sergeant because uh, of the probation. Okay. So he's gonna explain it to me. But um, the shop looking thing is pretty cheap. So I'm gonna have to add that on the charts. Yeah. I leave oh, the grabber she and she's resisting. Um, well, at least you know you witnessed the shoplifting. Literally, yeah. So that's your biggest strong suit. All right. All right Thank bye. you. Law enforcement responded with an appropriate move in light of Samantha's contraventions. Yeah. Shouldn't be too long, okay?
Samantha was charged with a felony for theft and a misdemeanor for resisting without violence. Could Patrick's confidence mask a deeper juggle, leaving law enforcement one step ahead? I know George can go yet, and I got a protection order against him. He can't call you to do nothing, but he can't call you to tell you nothing it's for you to investigate. On the 18th of January, 2024, in West Palm Beach, police responded to a shoplifting situation and rushed to the spot to inspect. Patrick was trying to be cool and act super confident. Nonetheless, the cops were not unaware of his slyness. Patrick, you should have gotten on the bus, man. Oh, dear. You took some stuff from the 7-Eleven without paying for it. I almost said you never leave the chain for it. That's why I got this stuff from the other day. I spoke, I spoke those parts uh, the there, day. There's another officer going over there right now checking. I ain't lying to you. Right. I can get them to keep away. Boy, I'm away from my who's drill, Whose drill gun is that? That's my friend. Your I'm friends? going to work. I'll wait for him to come back. Where'd he I go? I'm watching. Huh? Where did your friend go? He went to all downtown, come back. He was in the pool. Who knows him all? The, the lady told me I can have the win. See what I'm going to tell you? That's the game they play. Saying somebody pay for you. And then, who, who told you that? Um, yeah, lady in town. That was it. The lady that works there? Yeah. She said, she said somebody else paid for your food? Yeah. Well, that was uh, four wings. The folks she went. Matter of fact, the dude that worked here, people paid for it. That was it. And then and the guy told me I can sit and wait on him. I forget his name. That was it. He said that's his friend's drill. Yeah, he told us he didn't wait on it. And the guy told me, I can see him wait on it. I forget his name. That was it. He told us he didn't wait on it. He said that's his friend's drill. Yeah, he told us he didn't wait on it. That's it. Um, do you want to um, wait here and then are you good 10 12? I'm good 10 12, but I think he's going to make contact. He's saying that. The guy told me no had to see him. They told me. The guy told me. The guy told me. The guy told me. They're coming. I got a cigarette from the other day. He said, instead of sitting over there, go up there. Don't sit up there. I don't remember. My body's tired, man. I've been hurting all day. That's all. Who's your friend with the drill? The dude named Johnny Davis. Johnny Davis? Yeah. Johnny Davis. Yeah. I ain't lying to you. I can't even say that I ain't no to see. Lots of people say that. Uh, they ain't lying to you. I ain't lying. I, I, work, I work, man. I work on 44th Street. How about my clothes look like this? Right. So if, I go, so if I go to Home Depot, I'm not going to find that you were just there? Were you just in Home Depot? No. No. We're at 10 4, staying in 10 4. Come on, take a look at this real quick. What the hell is this? Hey man, that looks like it came right out of the box, right? You just bought it. Oh, before that, two or three. Can one of you call me real quick, please? Who, who, who puts, uh, matter of fact, who puts, uh, who puts, uh, who puts, uh, signal, uh, what is that stuff called? Signal, uh, uh, spray starts, so it's uh, star spray, spray starts inside of, uh, and who, and who, Hold on, Patrick. Who's pulling? Hey. And so you should be coming out here. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and just uh, he's he's saying that um, one of the other staff gave him permission to you know take some uh, yeah, black guy, whatever chicken black nuggets guy. or something. So just verify so that. One of them supposed to be a hey, do you remember who who's this who's hey. the staff member? It was the guy, the guy that uh, with with a phone. I think that that's Trisha. Uh, uh, a guy with the pro name Trisha? You said it was a girl that said you, could, you didn't have to pay. Listen, listen, he's all over the place. There's listen, only a few staff listen, members in there. Now, just see if, and, you know, and he's exactly in this shirt. He's wearing a black t shirt and blue jeans, you know. That's it. Um, and then we got another issue, too, because oh, there's a, right? uh, like some uh, DeWalt lawn clippers or some sort of like clipper thing. In a bag, it looks fresh out of a box. So um, at some point, I think, uh, yeah, but we might as well, right? You know, do the full thing and uh, see, you know, go to Home Depot. That's what I'm thinking. Um, and uh, I was going to do that too. Exactly. Yep. So at least it's early in the shift and we have the time to be able to. Yeah. They got nothing to do with it. I ain't stolen nothing to Home Depot.
Apparently, law enforcement ran out of patience and wasn't hesitant to act harshly. Crazy, I walked out. That's the day. Now I was sleeping up in the building. That's that like what? Seven, seven, fourteen. Oh man, yeah, motherfucker, the old guys walking with canes. I'll give you, bro. Hey, no, I'll raise this talk. I don't hallucinate. I know George wasn't go yet. And I got a protection order against him. He can't call you to do nothing for. He can't call you to tell you nothing. It's for you to investigate. So you're in the wrong. George Evans Jr. Is that your dad? Yeah, you know my dad. I know your dad. I don't know if he's a junior or a senior. Well, I ain't no senior junior. Senior. You have a brother? Yeah. Where does he live? Well, I'm senior village. Yeah. Where does he live? Well, I'm senior village. Yeah, I'm talking about my dad ready to kill like George in the back of the day. I was on stupid ass shit. That shit ain't true. They're a fucking game, bro. Can you stand, up, stand up, up, please? I can't. I live like Patrick, you walk over here. Oh, stand up, please. Oh, what you doing? Pick him up. You know I came in. I put my belt on. What do I think I would do that? I'm gonna be bothering me, man. Huh? forward a little bit. Right. I'm going to try to make these a little more comfortable for you, okay? Right. Yeah. All right. Turn your hands in together like you're praying. Oh, man. What's up? You guys like this shit in the hall, man? Come on, bro. What you doing? Oh. Stop. Stop. Put in my wrist. Stop. You gotta keep them together like you gotta do that, man. Keep them together like you're praying, okay? Hell! Oh, faggot! Wow. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. He's saying that, uh, you called, right? Yeah. He's saying that someone let him take it. No. He's claiming that. He's lying. Okay, so you witnessed and saw him steal it? Yeah. Okay, I need to put you in the car and you need to go ID him. Okay, so can you come with me? Thanks. That's him. Hey. Yeah. Yep, lovely ass palm. Can the a coke name, please? No. How are you guys holding up? Did you? Your day's just beginning, so we'll see. Hopefully this will kill some time for us. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Oh, you can see him from here? Yeah, yeah. Well, hold on. I got to read you something, and then you can tell me, okay? Oh, okay, okay. What else for us, Tom? I'll be 1012 with an adult male uh, for a show-up. I'll give you the mileage in a second. So I have to put you in the car and drive you, so. Okay. All right. Like That's fine. Can he just do a quick little? He's he's gonna do it. Oh, okay, he's gonna do it. Yep. Oh, okay. yep. Just a quick pat down. That's it. Other pocket. All right. So I gotta read you. Just unclip that. Yep. I gotta read you something. Okay. So in a moment, I'm gonna show you an individual. It is possible that the person about to be shown to you was not involved in the crime. You are not required to identify any person shown to you. Take as much time as you need to look at the individual. It is just as important to exclude innocent persons from suspicion as it is to identify the perpetrator. The investigation will continue whether or not an identification is made. This procedure requires me to ask you to state in your own words how certain you are of any identification. Since this is an ongoing investigation, you should not discuss the show up or the results. So I'm gonna drive you over there, then I'm gonna ask you, is that him? How sure are you, etc. Okay? okay? All right. Don't slip on my ankle. Hey, hey, relax, man. He's on my foot. Relax. Get your hands on my neck, bro. No one's touching them. What you got in your pocket, Sam? Come off the car a little bit. 
Patrick's fervent efforts to extricate himself from the troublesome situation seemed complicated. Actually, you don't have any needles on you, right? No, I don't use those damn needles. Oh, yeah, I just want to make sure. Saying the female owned the gun, but was not involved in any of this. All right, not you. Hey, what do you want? I'll take my seat. We're going to leave him right there. Everything that's yours is going to stay with you, okay? I wanted to find him at 325 this morning. I was going to. All right, we're going to make sure he's going to stay right with you, all right? Yeah. Morning. Four. Yeah. Are you one of the seven Charlie units? Hey, who's working at Home Depot? Do you know? There's a like a brand new wall. No, my leg is fucked up. Put this foot in the middle. You know, you know, I go in. Watch, watch me, watch me. Access and control of the result. Go in. Okay, ninety-five. Okay, ninety-five. Oh, you never buy any more food. We need to buy everything. Where are you supposed to be? The treatment center, Patrick. Yeah, I told him take me down there for three days. Put it to the movie commercial pool. Take his belt off. Who's that? 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 That's it. That's our rules. The same guy, 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 the that's one on one liquid. Alright. Yeah, yeah, Just for, for me, like so, I can go over there. Oh, okay. Can you turn it back around? Yeah, but, uh, that's fine. No, no, here, you want it? Hey, Chase. The authorities decided to scour soundly and discovered surprising sights that pieced together the puzzle comprehensively. No, it was in this bag. It would have, it would have come in a box, but. Are you gonna walk over there? Uh, I kind of don't want to be bringing him all over. Um, do you mind if I use your car, maybe? Or you know, just, I'll, or, just going to make contact with Home Depot yeah, yeah, to see yeah. if they. Yeah. I'll take this over there and see if, uh, okay, all right. I'm gonna, obviously if they can't identify this, we'll go back with him, but I'll, I'll take it over there and see yeah. it. Oh, uh, see. I mean, there's gotta be a box. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're 
My name is Officer 9, ID 2085 of the West Palm Beach Police Department. The time is January 18th, or excuse me, the time is 0957 hours. The statement is in reference to agency case number 24-1062, which occurred on January 18, 2024. I'm currently attending the statement at 7-11-1554 PBO, which is an investigation of theft. Present with me is the witness of the incident. Can you say your full name, spell it? Please raise your right hand. Do you swear the testimony you're about to provide is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Everything is true. Okay. Uh, what happened? Okay. He's the one black guy came here. When he come, I told him he need to go because I know him what happened. He did it before, same thing. Mm -hmm. So now I said I have the money. And I said, okay. But he come, he took the coffee, he took the one uh, hot dog, he took the five chicken, he eat the hot dog. I said, excuse me, you have to pay for it in a week. Then he took the hot dog. And chicken, he put it in one box, and then he tried to. My wife was right there in the industrial employer. She said, when she leaves, say you have to pay for it. And I don't know, he say something, I can hear it, but he says something, and he leave. Then I call the man, uh, then I call the police. Can you describe him? He's a one black, uh, black tall guy, like six, more than six feet, yeah. Mm -hmm. And black t-shirt, it's like, it was jeans, like blue and black jeans like this. So when I put you in the back of the car and drove you over to where he was, yes. was that the guy that also entered the store that you're describing right now? Yeah, yeah, same That took his items and left? Yeah. And he didn't guy. pay at all for anything? No, he didn't leave he didn't any money any. behind? No. Okay. And you guys did not offer or give him any free food? He never said that. But okay. uh, last time he just came here, he said, I apologize for the last time. I need one soda. He took out, okay, go grab the soda. And he said, you need one, hot, uh, one donut. That's okay, go grab it and go. Yeah. And he did, he was last time. He, he say something, if he say that, I have to do it, but he never say anything. Yeah. And he said, I have the money, but when he come inside, I say, you need to go. So he gave the idea that he was gonna pay for the Yeah. Food. And then he collected what he wanted, but he left past all points of sale. That's the only entrance and exit is the door he left out of. And went outside and then left without yeah. paying any money. Yeah, we got it. Okay. Well, that's fine, I'll get it. Is there anything else we did not discuss that you would like to include in the statement or clarify? No. You want to press charges? Yes. Did you agree to provide this statement by your own free will, yes or no? Yes. Was all the information provided in the statement the truth, yes or no? Yes. The time is 10 a.m. This concludes the sworn statement recorded uh, January 18th. Uh, this reference agency case number. Thank you. Thank you. 24-1062. All right, Travis. All right. <laughs> Here's your Husky cutting tool sharpener. Thank you. Which is from the same alloy as the uh, DeWalt pruner. Yeah. And we have pictures of all these that was found on the suspect. We can't prove that they're his. We know he was in that aisle. Just don't have it on camera, so. All right. Do you have the, the information on the, the two items? No. Do you have it? You like? Working? I mean, I took pictures. Uh, I'll, 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 picture. I'll, I'll take pictures. I'll take pictures. I'll get them more. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Patrick was charged with shoplifting. Brace yourself for an unforgettable ride. Witness as the veil of innocence is lifted, exposing an electrifying revelation that will leave you speechless. I'm not that type of girl. I have kids. I'm being honest with you. So when you pull me over. On December 9th. 2023, the Palm Beach Gardens Police Department noticed the unusual activity of a woman named Andrea and decided to investigate further. As the office initiated a conversation with Andrea, her peculiar behavior raised suspicion, prompting the officers to dig deeper into the matter. Every license on you? Okay, why are you driving then? Uh, I just got out of the mental um, hospital. Okay. And because I had a breakdown. All right. So, I'm so nervous. Don't worry, just relax. It's not the end of the world. I know. What's your name? Andrea Gibbs. I have my paperwork. I was inside the mental hospital and I had to go to the courthouse yesterday. That's all my stuff. And right. what happened? What did they tell you? I have a new court date. For when? Uh, on the 8th. On the 8th? Yes. I'm going to park, trust me. I'm going well, through. Why are you driving? I'm, I, my kids' dad kidnapped my kids and stuff. I'm just so depressed and my kids is all I know. My kids is all I know. So where are you coming from right now? I was just coming from a friend's house. Where? Down the street. Where down the street? I don't know the address. I just know where she stayed. The little condo uh, over here. The brown looking apartment. 
by yourself? Uh, the salsa? Yeah, yeah, that's great. This is, uh, I keep having, they got me on medication and everything, so. Yeah, it's not the end of the world, okay? I don't know, it feels like cooking. it, I swear. It's not the end of the world, My mom okay. told me to handle my business, that's what I've been doing. But it's just so hard without my kids. My kids is all I know. They're 5 and 11. And Listen, they you don't got no drugs in here, no guns, AKs? Yeah, oh, no. Nothing no, like, like that? No. Nothing like that? No. <laughs> okay. What do you got back here? What is all this stuff? That's is all your belongings? Moving. Yeah, my stuff. Okay. Me and my kids. Well, you got so much stuff. Me and my kids stuff. I'm taking it from the sleep, coming from moving stuff from the storage to my dad's place. Okay. And my boyfriend's place. So. To the courthouse, and what did they tell you? That's the paper that they gave me. I just went yesterday. Okay, and what did they tell you? I have to go there pump. You got, you got to swap. Did you give you a new court date? On the 8th. That's what they on gave the, me. On the 8th of what? January? Yes. It's a Tuesday. Because I was in the mental hospital when I first to went. That's why they told me to bring all my stuff to show them. Okay. So they can take me. Right. Okay. I was telling them I had court, but they didn't. <laughs> they was like, just yeah, take this know, stuff. Was... They take this stuff and then they were. Do this thing out of trouble? Yes. I'm trying to just, I want my kids back. I'm in the press. I'm trying to stay busy. My niece has a, um, she go to gardens. Mm -hmm. They have a, um, What's the name today? A parade in Bure. So okay. I'm going with my sister today to see them perform and stuff. To be, you know, supportive for her. And Put what's up? And bus. what's up with your license? What's the issue with your I'm license? I'm on a payment plan you? for those. Okay. Why do you have an ID card? Why don't you just, why don't you get a license? They won't give you a hardship. I'm going through Miss Joanna Rivera. Have you heard of her at the courthouse? That sounds very familiar. I know. Okay. She's helping me get my um, license, but I have to do. I'm doing community service hours, and I'm on a payment plan as well. As the investigation progressed, a startling revelation came to light, forcing the officers to take instant action. No, I told you, I'm, I'm scared of guns. This, this female officer here is going to search you real quick, make sure you got no guns on you, nothing like that, okay? Is there anything in the car to know about? Listen, I've been doing this a long time, right? That little hesitation that you had there, okay? That little hesitation that you had there, Makes me think there's gonna be something in there. Is there I smoke, but there? what? Is it just weed? Yeah, that's it. No that's heroin, all. No, 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 that cocaine, crystal meth, nothing what? like that. Uh, hey, listen, I don't know. No, people do all I'm not that stuff. type of girl. I have kids. Okay. I'm being honest with you. So when you pull me over, is there weed in there? Or just yeah. probably a little bit. Just a little bit. Extensive history of 65. I'm sure it's gonna be more stuff. Can you read it for me? Just... So 
car go off to my car. You don't have the car in this car. Here, 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 here. I got it. <laughs> What'd you say? So she understands her eggs. Listen, where'd you steal the bottles from? Huh? Where'd you steal the bottles from? I had the whole thing. Listen, honesty, best policy. Further, the suspicion grew and left the officers wondering what unexpected turns lay ahead. Can you head over to the Publix at Barn Score Shops? This female has several bottles of liquor. Just find out they want to prosecute. I got a confession to this like. Yeah, I just want to block your number. What's up? No, I'm, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, five bottles of their Bel Air, Bel Air, their blue, blue Bel Air. Yeah. Right, bef right before my traffic stop, probably 10 minutes before my traffic stop. And then black female, yeah, black female camel, for, for camel shirt. Like a camel jacket. It says U.S. Army on it. Yeah, very noticeable. The black female. The Publix. Yeah, the Publix. I guess, yeah. I'm going to send you a picture of the bottles. And then just make sure you follow it all the way back. Because she's got a bunch of empty gift cards and stuff. So maybe she's doing that gift card thing where they leave it at the... You know what I'm saying? They replace the gift cards and stuff. So just let me know. Perfect. And you let me know, I'll take the whole thing, you know. So, all right, peace. Bye. Listen, I want you to be honest to me, okay? I mean, I'm All right, I hope you continue to be honest. Just stay over there. Oh, no, I thought she said I could step to you. No, no, just hang out there. Oh, there no, no, I'll be there in a second. Okay, listen. Okay, I want you to be honest with me. Who's this guy right here? That's my boyfriend's brother. Okay. Who's this person? My friend Erica. Okay. Who's this guy? I don't even know who, who that is. Okay. No, I'm being honest. I don't know who that is. Okay. I'm sure you don't know who he is. Okay, but you use this identity. I never used that card before. No? No. You didn't use this for anything? Never. To apply for any credit cards? Never. Anything like never. that? Okay. Never. And what's up with this other credit card that has his name on it? Never use anything. Right, I promise. It's just a I wife promise. Or it's a sticker Never on it. use anything. I, I promise. You're doing with the gift cards, okay? One is you're stealing merchandise, and then you're turning it in with somebody, and you're trading it for gift cards, okay? Which is probably what you're doing. But are you putting gift cards at Publix, CVS, no. on the rack that are scanned already and in your possession? 
You understand what I'm telling you? No, say that again. So you're getting the gift cards, uh-huh. right? And you're taking off the stickers and you're putting them on other gift card packages at like public, CVS, no. stuff like that, to do fraud. So no. that other people pay for the stuff, you get the oh, gift cards. No. Right? Because you got like three, four hundred gift cards in there, no. right, that have been used. Some of them are old. So them gift cards are old. I just don't, you see how junky my car is. I just don't clean the car out. I'm being honest. You got a lot of them in your purse. I don't have a lot they, of them I just don't be throwing them away. My purse is junky too, everything. I'm being honest. I mean, y'all have receipts. I can go back and look at the receipts. Yeah. But I don't think they're all old. Okay, I think you're using a lot of them. Most right. of them. I'm what telling are, you, what are you doing? Are if I'm stealing stuff, you trade it in and they give I you gift cards? I have done before. Is that what they're doing? With limited options left, the officers had to resort to strict measures, leading Andrea to face the consequences of her actions. So the thing is, that warrant is still active, okay? So I have to take you to jail for that warrant. Are you serious? Uh, that's serious, okay? Um, you're gonna have a bond amount. You might have OR. It might give you another court date to release you. Oh God, it's not a felony charge. It's just a misdemeanor charge. Uh, okay, so when you get down there, they might just release you again. Okay, but I have to take you in. Okay, but they might just give you another court date to release you. I, I just went yesterday. That's why I told you all my stuff. I don't have an option. If it was up to me, it'd be a different story. But it's you not. You said I wasn't under arrest. You weren't. They had to confirm the warrant. They called over to the sheriff's office. They double verified. The sheriff's office says yes, it's still active. I just went down there yesterday. You see the paperwork and they stamped it in there. I believe you, but when yeah. they when they, they double checked, they called again to make sure. The sheriff's office says, yeah, we want it. It's, that's what they say. Okay. We're Palm Beach Gardens. Uh, okay. What no. paperwork did she have? My paperwork from the court. And from the mental hospital. And she applied for the public defender and all that stuff. Just put your phone down here. Put it in there. Can okay. Get my purse and stuff? Yeah, yeah, we'll get, I'll get all your stuff, okay? And my keys? Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm gonna try not to tell you why. I'm gonna try to have somebody come pick it up. Can I call my boyfriend? Yeah, we'll try to do that for you, okay? Call him okay. now? Not right this second, okay? Right now we're just gonna put your hand up for quick. He don't know a number, he's not gonna answer. Okay. We're gonna call him from your phone. Just give me a second. Wait. Okay, you can take off bracelets. Take those off. Take those off. Yeah, take all your bracelets. You don't have nothing else on you, right? 100,000%? Because if you bring anything down there, it's, they're going to add another felony charge, okay? Any drugs, cocaine. Yeah, because you bring it into the institute if you bring in anything. You understand? You don't have nothing else on you, right? Andrea was arrested for a felony charge of shoplifting. She also had a previous warrant. Get ready for an eye-opening experience. Watch as law enforcement takes charge with a precision that even Spider-Man would admire in our next video. You live around here now. Say what? I know I made a big mistake, On February 23rd, 2024, the Port St. Lucie Police Department was informed about a woman named Natalia Tyring stirring up trouble at a local store. Upon arrival, the officers dive into the uncertainty to understand the severity of the situation. Where are they? Is that her? It's all the shit she stole. The door's locked. I know. The door's locked. Though. With new pieces of information in hand, the officers moved forward with their routine procedure. Uh, no, don't think so. It was tough for you, Ben. Hmm? It was tough for you. Uh, stand up for a minute. Are you really arresting me? Uh, yeah, stand up. I am being arrested. As right Depending now, on yes. how you act, you might go to MTA if you live around here. Please don't, don't arrest me. Say what? Please don't arrest me. I know I made a big mistake, but I don't know how to do anything. I'm sorry. Hold on. Yeah. Can we? You get it? I don't know, I'm just kidding. Hello, Here, I can take this. No. What's your hit? Right there. All right, put your hand back. You see your hand? Put your hand back. Say what? I just shit myself a little bit. I know this is gonna sound retarded. What? Oh, yeah. I don't know why. Alright, sit down. Oh, 
So hear me out. I gotta read you this, alright? Okay. You have a right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have a right to talk to the lawyer for advice before you ask any questions. And to have them during or with you during questioning if you wish. If you're not afford a lawyer, one will be appointed before you. Uh, before any questioning if you wish. If you decide to answer these questions without a lawyer Let now, you'll also have the right to stop Let answering at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to your lawyer. Do you understand these rights that I've explained to you? Do you wish to speak to me? Yeah, I don't want to go to jail. Eventually, Natalia couldn't escape the gravity of the situation and was forced to confront the harsh reality she had woven for herself. On this bench in handcuffs. Because I couldn't afford the stuff that I needed and I couldn't... You put it where? In bins that... So I didn't have to pay it, and I'm a big fucking idiot. That's what happened. You have anything in your, in your personal bag? No. You sure? That was empty. That's why I didn't take it. Okay. Sorry, Sonny. Call butter. What's out of it? It's empty. So you placed the items where? Like a, like a container? Kind of huh? That's my uh, experience earlier. Yeah. Just right. like <laughs> uh, so you put them in an empty container and then what? You just went to self checkout and bought whatever you needed and then left? Okay. What's your first name? What's your, smell it. M A T A L I A. Middle name? E L E. Last name? T-Y-R-E-N-G. Natalia Tearing was charged with petty theft. Can you imagine the secrets hidden behind every item? As law enforcement digs into the depths of deception, the truth emerges, revealing the cost of dishonesty. Hey, do you, do you swear in front of what you're about to tell me is truthful? Yes. Yeah. On the 17th of August, 2023, the Palm Beach Gardens Police Department reached a retail shop after receiving news of shoplifting. The authorities convened the necessary data to speed up their inspection, initiating the subsequent steps in the process. You got an ID on you, partner? Yeah. Where's that? Just scare him. We'll go to Marshall's. Come on. Good. Yeah. All right. What's your idea, partner? The rare book bag. Red book bag. All right. Yeah. Do me a favor. I'm gonna have you take a seat on the ground right here, real quick. Get you okay. out of the view of everybody else. All right. I'm gonna take a seat on the green there. You guys good? I'm okay. gonna make contact with Marshalls real quick. Hey. All right. Let's hop in and. How are you? Hi, I'm Erin. Hi, Erin. How are you? I'm Tate. Good, how are you? Good, thank you. This I'm is Erin. Officer Earth, okay. Liz. Hey, um, what's going on? Um, are yeah. you the, the one that's yeah, on? Yeah, okay. I can show you the video. It's on. Um, we have all of our elements. Oh, you're, I take your LP. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Awesome. Hey. I just so happen to be in the building today. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. that's awesome. And we are going to prosecute. Perfect. So, oh, yeah. You're, just, you're speaking yeah. in my language. <laughs> hey, do you swear in front of them what you're about to tell me is truthful? Yes. Yeah. We possibly have that individual detained. Okay. Would you mind just coming with us and just doing a quick show up real quick? Yeah, yeah, and that's then, fine. And then saying yay yeah, or nay, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. we'll go from there. Yeah, yeah, for okay. Sure. okay. Um, how much in losses are we talking right now? Yeah. I would say probably close to a grand, okay. shy of it. So okay. we have him on three or four pairs of shoes, um, Nike. We had him on basics, men's basics, which uh -huh. is like underwear. Um, I also have him on um some men's tech items okay. and then a michael kors purse i want to say it was the okay. chain purse that he yep. took off yep. so we price point at like 50 or over so okay. um it's a good amount okay so, gotcha yeah. do you happen to have a training receipt done 
No, because you no. left with all of it. So ah, it was, I, I literally called you as soon as you stepped out of the building. Gotcha. So, yep. And did you see him stuff it and yes. seal it? Yeah, I have that on video. Okay. Yep. And is he's carrying like he's got like multiple bags. Yeah. Two bags confirmed. One is like reddish, and okay. then the other one is an Air Jordan. Those okay. are the two that I saw him stuff. Gotcha. And then I don't know if he still has the crossbody. Oh, this is what he left behind. So. Okay. He didn't buy. He didn't pass all points of sale with these. Or, no, 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 okay. no, no, this was left behind. But yeah, so okay. can we at least get a training receipt for these, Nadesh? Because these are going to be confirmed what's in his bag. So I'm going to take those. Training receipts uh, are essentially receipts that has all the price points and everything. You know, with tax and everything. Yep, okay. yep. So typically, if you're actually a training receipt, they'll know exactly what you're talking about. Are you an MPO? I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so. Um, so yeah, we got, we got somebody detained right now. Did you have eyes on that person? Him? Yeah. yeah, I was the one that did the surveillance the whole time. Okay, yeah. perfect. Oh, so you never lost sight of him? No. Oh, okay, no. perfect. Okay. He did right. get him at the time. Yeah. had, um, maybe for like, previous or got something, you. but never anything more than five minutes. Okay. okay. Him, so. good. And he, um, I maintained set up the cart to make sure no one else put anything in his cart or anything. Um, but you've had to Gotcha. So look for that. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Awesome. Let me uh, just get over there and let them know. Well, we're looking at over, we're looking at a felony amount over 750. Yeah. Okay. I want to say it probably is. Okay. So. Gardens Bravo, cover one to six. How much is that? Step four, 10th with the LP that observed the whole thing. We are trying to determine whether it reaches the signal 18 amount and 10 4 on cross. Send me the pics, please. We got it. Oh, perfect. Yeah, her name's Aaron. Hi. He's our elder. Just do uh the empty one. So we're gonna take a push off. Yeah, that's fine. If you don't mind. Okay. Please and thank you. So a show up, right, is conducted when we have somebody detained that matches the description, right? We never bring the suspect back. We take the witnesses or the you know eyewitness, what have you, to the location that we found them in. So. Go to Bravo, cover one to six. Go to Bravo for five, this is gonna be 10 12 with LP and B51 over there, should really. The officers scrutinized everything closely, and the exposure sent a shockwave among them. Right? Yeah, but we work together. And so, so he sent me some pictures to use for reference to add on to the list of things that um, that'll be obviously taken into consideration the amount. And if, as I was saying, if it's misdemeanor amount, then then does that count sales tax? Is that counting sales tax? No. No. Right? It's always without the sales tax. So if it's a misdemeanor amount, if it's like less than 750, even if it's 749, you can cut him a, a notice to appear. As long as he doesn't have a pass to failure to appear, you know, charge you or something like that. Or, or that he's not a resident of Palm Beach County. Oh. A lot of rules to remember. Um, is that is that common? Like some people are not residents here? Yeah. They could be, or they could say like, hey, listen, I'm staying at this address. That's it's my family members. Can you verify that? And if you, as long as you can verify it, then that's fine. Well, luckily, that LP squared away. So... Now we're just gonna get her 14. 14 means no information, right? Yes. Except for 27. Wow, I, I can you be here every time? Yeah, yeah. I'm very. I covered the district, so I was awesome. here for a visit, and okay. 
the judge said, I don't know if you can do anything. And I hopped right on the cameras. Oh, I'm like, we're getting look them. At you. Look at you. <laughs> okay. So we got some more photos from I over there. Do you want to take this? I'm going to take the yeah. one holding on six. Then. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Thanks, brother. Thank so there's some um, from him in the store. Okay. Um, but again, I have concealment. That's him walking out with the two of them. Yep, perfect. So. Okay. Let me just answer this call real quick. Sorry. But yes, sir. Do you check the boat? Oh, we briefly went through them. I okay. didn't want to start pulling shit out to put it back in. So uh, I don't know if you oh, yeah. Okay. okay. So the shoes don't have tags. No, but it has, they have this. Yeah, but, but, yeah, but, so, so she's got, Boxes, empty boxes over there. With uh, what the shoes were in. Well, yeah, but the the Anka thing is it, the yeah. store. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. So then you is that here? That's What's that? Oh, uh, yeah, that's his bag. Uh, no, that's his uh, filter. Yeah. So that's an intention there. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. So it's the mirror. Oh, I think we're going to do something similar. Just having one thing to know about. Uh, we'll just rock this loose. Well, that's fine too. Yeah, you got enough bags. I'm like, hey, do you have any uh, plastic, big plastic bags? Thank you. All right, cool. <clears throat> we'll be back. Hold on, here. there's property in here too, unless you got it all out. I think we got them. You, got you, want, you want me to collect those tools for you and put it on your car? What's that? These? How are we got how are we gonna prove it? You don't have to prove it, you just put it in there as a hand I didn't realize I thought this was a uh <laughs> turns out it's actually a Marshall's product. This one has a tag too. Good? Oh, that's funny, Bruce. I appreciate it, though. Thank you. Yeah. Good with what we're doing? Oh, yeah. As far as, like, you take? So. Yeah. Yeah, no issue whatsoever. The profound sifting was still going on as the deputies were still trying to unearth the suspect's misdeeds. Where are we up to now already? Two or eight. Two or eight. Oh, this one's weird. True religion, Josh? Mm -hmm. Boxer? Yeah. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I appreciate you doing this. Oh, no problem. Backpack. You. Yep. I didn't see a tag on that. Okay. So. Unless it might be on the yeah. other one. Thank you. 
this. Yep. And then that's yep. Oh, oh. Okay. I think this is the Ah, there we go. Perfect. Thank you. Ah, uh, there one. we go. Yeah, because I don't think you had time to yes. remove them. You did some, but not all. No, what are we up to now? Five That's not the tag for. Oh, okay. I'm looking for the marker tag. <laughs> Six fifty six. Now is that including the three shoes you stayed no, with? No, that's not including okay. the three shoes. Okay. So the three uh, shoes. Oh, and this one. Oh, oh Jesus, this is just shy. What about the three shoes uh, from earl was it earlier? Yeah. Well, this is a Pelotai, so I'm going to be 79. Okay. I think those are the pilferage that he would have put them in here, so. Okay, so, okay. So he is under the, the seven. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> I, it's, I don't think it'll still reach that, yeah. that max. Okay. Okay. That's Those so. Are the one that's left behind. Oh. If you did miss these, definitely scan these in too, though. Okay. I want okay. Them on the no, so the three shoes were already scanned just now, yeah. including. Okay. okay. So what yeah. three shoes? Um, but you are uh, the receipt? No, I did not skin the... No, no, Dutch, those are the empty oh, boxes. The empty boxes. The empty boxes, oh, yeah. Okay, so we can disregard that. So we'll just disregard the first training receipt. Regardless, so, I mean, we got a positive ID on this guy, and he'll be... I don't know what his, uh, uh, his past looks like. Failure to appear or anything. No problem. Oh, they're coming. Just one. Oh, no, how many? Six. That looks like. Uh, so that made the process a little easier, right? Instead of like, 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 hey, uh, can kids. you send me the pictures? Just bring it all over, bring it all back. We know they belong to Marshalls, and you know they still obviously have anti-theft everything on there. Oh, bring it back and just do the legwork yourself. Law enforcement prepared to embark on additional procedures, ensuring thoroughness and efficiency in their approach. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the still shots and then whatever else you got, especially the video, please. I'm going to send it to you right now. I just always like to make sure before I, I we part ways to make sure that you get it before I leave. Okay. Mm -hmm. This and we need to put service in here so bad. It's okay. They picked the worst office to put our district office in. I'm like, I sit back there in a black hole all day. I know. All right. It should be in your inbox. If not, yeah, give it a little. Okay. Oh. From Amazon? Yep, that's okay, it. Yep. Well. yep. Um, I may um have one of the NTF guys help us out with okay. this and just like how he normally does paperwork stuff right. for me. So I'll send it over to him. His name is Josue. Okay. Um, but he watched it. He was like dialed in remote. And gotcha. He was watching the whole thing. So. Gotcha. Um, but anything else you need from me? I just want to do an, an overview real quick before we go. Do I put it in the office? No, no, no. It's okay. okay. Well, just, just right here is fine. Okay. So Nadej, Saul, 
the male yeah. who came in, I believe, last Monday from what she just told us. Yeah. She recognized him and yeah. who in turn notified you yeah. and you dialed in through CCTV. Yeah. He was in the shoe yeah. section, at least when you picked him up. Yeah. And then you obviously yeah. saw all the concealment, all the yeah. elements, and him walk out, bypass all sales points of service. Yeah. And um, made no attempts to pay for the items. Yeah. And mm -hmm. at that point, you notified PD and you had eyes on him. Yep. Okay, easy enough for me. Yeah. Um, you have the case number with that, awesome. and oh, what awesome. else do you need from me? Nope, that's it. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Aaron. Well, I'm sorry we're meeting under these circumstances, but thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank, no, you thank, thank you, thank you. Guys. Very nice yeah. meeting you. Likewise, you too. Best of luck with everything. <laughs> thank you so, so much. And if you see my husband at work, give him a hard time. I sure okay. will. I sure will. Thank you. Bye. Stay safe. Thanks. Thank you. You got the receipt? Perfect. The suspect was charged with retail theft. To unlock more thrilling crime investigations like these, punch the subscribe button.